He's a force of nature. He was like, who is this guy? He's the greatest villain ever. I'm sitting here with Javon and Singa, the author of the Walking Dead novelizations, The Rise of the Governor, The Road to Woodbury, The Fall of the Governor, Parts 1 and 2, and you've got a couple more. I taught mostly at Northwestern University and DePaul University, I taught in their graduate English departments um, dramatic structure, the three-act paradigm, and the hero's journey, the beginning, middle, and end. Mm -hmm. Where does the beginning end and the middle start? Mm -hmm. Plot points, the, the, the twists, Aristotelian structure, and they go from their ordinary world to an extraordinary world, and I taught that for years. So when Robert Kirkman came along, because I believed in that, you know, structure and, and craft and everything, I, 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 it was like butter. Mm. I got it. I fell into it. We worked like a clockwork mechanism mm. to, the, to the point where now, today, he just leaves me alone. You know, he's given me the keys to the, you know, the universe, and I come up with my own plots and stuff. Because Robert has said, and, and graciously, he's, he's a generous guy, he has said in the press that he's not a novel writer, mm. you know, and that's the way he worked with me. He left me alone um, for four books. He would give me an outline, mm. and I would, you know, write the novel. But, you know, when you're in this field, it helps if you're a fan, because you, you, you cherish the stuff differently than somebody who's just a professional writer. Robert, the first time I talked to him, he's like, yeah, yeah, no, we're going to be writing serious, full-blown literary novels that stand alone mm. and that tell the stories of some of these main characters of the comic that, that fans are interested in. And we're going to start with the governor. At first, I thought, what? You know, <laughs> that Danny Trejo dude? I, I, we're going to... More than one book? He's gonna become, you know, this epic hero. I, I could not wrap my mind around it, but I will say that with each passing day, practically, it got more and more fascinating. Mm. To mm -hmm. the point where I was like, I just want to write about villains the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> villains are the most interesting, you know, I think it was Mary Shelley. I might be misquoting her, but, I, but I'm pretty sure it was Mary Shelley who said, no man chooses evil for the sake of being evil. They choose evil because they mistake it for happiness. Wow. <laughs> wow. It was such a brilliant statement yeah. on humanity and and that was definitely the governor yeah. the governor you know was not evil for evil's sake he was not you know dr evil and even the the um fu manchu governor of the comic book mm -hmm. even he was um a pathetic sad there was pathos and we, you know he kept penny his daughter chained right. up you know but robert was right as he is about many things, the fans were fascinated by the books, mm -hmm. learning that he had a brother named Brian, and he had friends, and he was a mechanic. I think I think David Morrissey, he was like the, you know the book governor version 2.0. He right. he took the books governor and turned him from a blue collar, rounded you know complex figure into a white collar mm. complex figure because he was he was a lot like the governor in the book but, right. but he also he appeared to maybe live in a different part of town mm -hmm. than the governor in the book yeah he, he he moved the governor to Marietta or you know to to a nice suburb of Atlanta and right. had a, had a you know, white collar man middle management job somewhere yeah. Yeah. and had a daughter and a wife and you know a nice home suburban home mm. whereas whereas the, the Philip Blake of the book was was a mechanic mm -hmm. you know but was an, an, an ordinary person loved his daughter loved his wife mm. and you know had a temper and you know but in terms of villains mm -hmm. you know uh, I 
I was like everybody else. I loved to hate the governor, even when I was just a reader of the comic book. Yeah. And I was a fan of the comic book, and I am a fan. I mean, it all goes back to being a fan, mm. in a way, it does. Yeah. I was a fan of Rod Serling, yeah. and, you know. I get asked by people, you know, do, don't you ever, uh, you know, long to write your own stuff again? I mean, you know, and I'm like, no. <laughs> you know, and, then, and sometimes they'll, they'll ask me, you know, don't you ever, you know, get uh, worried that you're going to be, uh, you know, labeled uh, as the zombie guy? Mm. And I'm like, no, I'm not worried about that at all. <laughs>